Hi everyone, welcome to Team ET. In today's video, I'll show you how to convert your DVDs, whether they're commercial or homemade, into digital copies using Handbrake. Even better, you can preserve your video quality while significantly reducing file size. It's essential to note that Handbrake may face difficulties with strongly encrypted DVDs, resulting in a no valid source found error. So if you find that this method doesn't work for you, consider searching for DVD Ripper online for alternative solutions to decrypt and rip your DVD discs. Now, let's get started. The first two steps are straightforward, download Handbrake, open it, and load your DVD. Once the software is downloaded, open it. Now, insert your DVD into your computer's DVD drive, and a DVD icon will appear here. Click this icon, and Handbrake will start scanning your DVD. If you're using an ISO file, which is essentially the same as a DVD disc, simply select the file and wait for it to be scanned. Now, let's adjust the settings. On this main page, you can view information about your DVD, including resolution, frame rate, and audio video tracks. For this section, you can keep the default settings selected by Handbrake for the title and preset. Next, let's focus on the tabs below. The first tab is Summary, where you should adjust the format. I recommend selecting the MKV format instead of MP4 because MKV offers better video quality through lossless compression. The second tab is Dimensions, where you should match the resolution limit with the source file. For DVDs, it's typically 560p or 480p, here, I've chosen 480p. Moving on to the fourth tab, Video, adjust the video encoder, frame rate, and constant quality. For the video encoder, I recommend selecting H.265, also known as HEVC codec, for its superior compression and quality. However, please note that HEVC codec may require payment for Windows users. If you encounter this message while playing HEVC videos, you're in the same situation as I am. I opted for the H.264 codec instead. For the rest, keep the frame rate the same as the source and set the constant quality to 23. That's it. These are all our settings. You can leave the other tabs as they are unless you have specific adjustments in mind, such as embedding subtitles in different languages into the video. Now, it's time to convert your DVD into a digital format. Click Start Encode, and the software will initiate the conversion process. The duration may vary depending on the DVD's length and your computer's performance. Once the process is complete, you'll have a digital copy of your DVDs that strikes the best balance between quality and file size. If you followed the video and are satisfied with the results, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not satisfied, you might want to explore more cost-effective options. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, consider choosing professional DVD ripping software like Wink's DVD Ripper Platinum to quickly back up your DVD collection. Thank you for watching this video, and if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials.